Mike Boyd, Kansas, Friday night, Minneapolis High School basketball. Great place to play high school basketball with your girls and boys. It's, uh, it's a great uh, facility, and uh, the crowd getting into it. It's a uh, spicy place to play. I'll do One of the more heated rivalries in Minneapolis's sports program. Minneapolis will start their usual five. Alyssa George, Lindsey Perry, Stephanie Alderson, Megan Byman Good, and Mallory Goeth. Five, five, I will. <laughs> She's five, five. The Mallory's right around six, two, six, three. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Dale, I only missed a uh, driving layup and the last second shot of the ball game the other night, and I felt real fortunate to only miss that. So <laughs> uh, we missed your, your efforts with the camera. I guarantee you, it's not easy to do it both at the same time. I get into the game and I watch it, and the camera's pointing the wrong direction. Oh, yeah. and Real simple to do. Yes, sir. We're just a couple minutes away from the tip. <laughs> tip controlled by the Lady Lions. Lindsey Perry out top to set the offense. Man to man. Defense for Bloyd. That was a walk, definitely. She put the foot down and took a step backwards. Well, we can eliminate those turnovers right like that, right there. We'll have a good chance of winning this ball game. Yeah, that, uh, that cost us Tuesday night. Minneapolis opens up in their 2-3 zone defense. Nothing going for Bloyd. Looking inside, but it's not there. Skip pass cross court. Bloyd spots up for a three. Bloyd's there to get the rebound. Kicks it back out to Brandy Reams. Hits a little seven, eight footer in the lane. Puts Bloyd on top. Bloyd's going to pick up a little pressure here. Cross court pass by Alyssa George. We clear the timeline. A little dangerous pass there. They were closing on it, but couldn't get there. Lindsay with a nice drive down the lane. <laughs> Alyssa looking for a cutter. Lens pops out to grab it. Bloyd still in that man to man. Two nothing Bloyd here. We're just started. There's a nice look by Mal. Back rims it. They got her trap. She gets it away. Lloyd crosses the timeline, kicks it out the corner to Reams, back into the paint to Catlin, who kicks it back down to Reams for a little four foot jumper. Lloyd well, leads 4 0. If you look at the box scores, she scores 18 points a ball game. We haven't guarded her yet, so it's her own fault. She gets another look, it'll be six nothing. 
Mallory with a good rebound there. Four nothing, Bloyd. This is stops and pops. That ball's going to be out of bounds. Minneapolis to inbound. This with a nice look at the basket just off back rim. Lloyd staying in the man to man on uh, the inbounds play here. Nice over go. the top look by Lindsay to Mal. Nice pass by Lenz. Mal had her player sealed off. Drop step and a nice easy three footer there. Boyd kicking it around the perimeter. Minneapolis in that 2 3 zone. They're packing down the bottom, not allowing anybody to get anything. There we go. Loose ball picked up by There's Mallory. Some aggressiveness finally on defense, and we come away with the loose ball. Oh, we had a cutter, and Alyssa didn't see her. There's travel again. She's going to get fouled. She's Ooh. pushed by Catlin. Maybe Catlin's first. I thought maybe she skipped the back with the back foot and dropped the next one down. I thought he was going to call her for a travel, but. She never moved her pivot foot. She was mo moving on it. The official thought she came up and called her for the travel and the turnover goes to Bloyd. I think she still had her dribble. I think maybe she should have went ahead and put the ball on the floor, gain her balance again, and then just turn and put that baby up. She was pretty close. Maybe the other girl was standing on her foot. Reams with another Six, eight foot jumper that comes out. Mallory, Mallory comes down with the board. Good job on that board. So far, Mallory very effective on the board. Lens with a drive to the bucket. Back rims it. It's a good look. A little bit too strong. Followed her shot, got her own rebound, kicks it back outside. I don't know what Alyssa, Alyssa's doing. Alyssa went up for the shot, and she was covered pretty well and looking for an open person. Nobody there. She dumps it off to a Bloyt Gallon turnover. Another turnover for Minneapolis, and Bloyd with the ball here. Catlin from the corner over the top of the rim, rebounded by... Alyssa George, Lindsey Perry with the ball across the timeline. Kicks it out to Megan over to Alyssa. Stephanie has it on the wing. There we go. There we go, Lenz hits that one. A little eight footer. Ties the score at four. The mid-range jumper seems to be there in the lane and we better take advantage of it. That's a good shot. That's She's a jump walking. ball. Okay. They called her for the travel. Yeah, we'd have took the. Anna White and Brooke Pischel come in. Give Mallory and Stephanie a break. Anna's going to hold that ball out in front of her. Nine times out of ten, they will tip it away from her. She's going to have to take care of the ball. There's a good look for Alyssa George. That's two. Count it. That's good luck. We're getting in that close for that little jump shot. I don't know what the ref evidently wanted to touch the ball. 6-4 Minneapolis here in the first quarter. Now we can't let him do that.
Throwing that ball over the top is a dangerous pass. So far, Bloit not able to get to it. 6-6 six, six here in the first quarter. Nice pick by Anna. Brooke, Brooke drives, drives the lane, the lane and counts foul. the bucket. Nice shot by Brooke, realizing, taking a good advantage of the nice pick set by Anna White to the bucket for that little eight-footer, Vic, and uh, off the glass and in, and, and one. Puts Brooke at the line, throws up, and it's in. Good job. Three-point play the old way. If the Lions want to use their speed, I don't think that Beloit can match up with us speed-wise. They've got a couple quick gals out there. but You know, I was seeing that too, Vic. I, I th think you're right. I think we could run here just a little bit. I know Reams can run pretty, the floor fairly well, but after that, that's it. And that is the brick by Beloit, post player. Lindsay with quick hands. Nice Intercepts steal. It. See, here we go. And Brick was almost there, but they had her covered up, so... No help on the fast break, and Bloyd got back that time. Lenz comes out to reset the offense. Just over a minute to go in the first period, Minneapolis with a 9-6 lead. Megan knocked down that three-pointer. She's got some good looks. <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna give her that three-point shot. Brooke with the ball out on top, looking for a cutter, and there's Anna, comes out to take the ball. Coach spent a few minutes in practice every day with Megan shooting them threes. And that was a walk by Alyssa George. Nice look down low, got the ball to Megan. Good grief. Don't let her go all the way to the basket. Brooke and says we did. no. <laughs> Brooke catches her from behind, knocks the ball away, and Reams go to the bat, uh, free throw line, shoot two. Good hustle by Brooke to stop Randy Reams from an uncontested layup. I'll make her get it at the line. She gets the first one. Stephanie Alderson comes in for Megan Livengood. And Mallory will check in for Lindsay. Good job by Lady Lions to break the pressure by Bloyd. Just don't give up an easy one here. If we get a good look like that, she was fouled. That ball's off white. It's going to stay with Minneapolis. They'll inbound under their own basket. I thought Mallory might have tipped that out. Six point four seconds to go in the quarter. Minneapolis with the inbounds. And we're going to get a foul called on Anna White for a block. Le must have been an illegal screen. I didn't see Somebody it. Somebody needs to get down court. Get down there. Girls have got to realize you don't want to leave them all the way down the court. Easy. At least they didn't get an open look. First quarter, first quarter comes to an end. Minneapolis holding on to a one-point lead, 9-8. Lindsey Perry's checking back in to start the quarter. Token pressure on that. You can't let them have the full length of the court. Bring it down easy when you only have six seconds left. That's enough time to get down and get a good look. So you need to pass them a little bit, use up some of that time so you can't get that good shot. Especially on the inbounds because the uh, baseball pass time doesn't start till the ball's touched. So 6.4 seconds is a long time. Did you have a good week, Dale? 
Oh, not bad. If, if you recall uh, spending 11 hours a day in the hospital, all right. <laughs> not because I was sick or anything. But it's working. Working. Good. I'm glad you put that in there at the end. You're working. Second quarter, Minneapolis takes the floor with uh, Mallory Goeth, Anna White, Lindsay, Stephanie, and Brooke Pischel. Alyssa and Megan will get a breather here as Beloit inbounds it to start the second quarter. Good job, good job. Anna White with a heads up defensive play picks up the bad pass by Beloit. And Minneapolis will set the offense. Stephanie with a good. Oh my. Jump ball and it'll stay with Minneapolis on the alternate possession. Good rebound by Mallory. Anna with a nice look down there. It looked like she was trying for an assist though to Mallory over the top. <laughs> well, maybe we can get a good look here and. That's a foul on Catlin that they didn't call. Mallory gets it inside. That was definitely a foul. Anna with another good look, throws up a brick underneath the rim. Two good looks at the basket. Mal was fouled on her last attempt. Catlin from the corner and she scores on a 10 footer and puts Boyton ahead 10 to nine. Got to get it across. Bloyt with full court pressure. Minneapolis unable to get the ball across the timeline. Called for the 10 second violation. Bloyt inbounds. Bloyt no hurry with the lead. That Reams girl will shoot that three ball, so we have to be aware of that. Brandy, Play her on the line. Brandy will put it up from anywhere on the floor. Minneapolis needs to keep keep somebody on her. They've done a good job so far. Good grief, we've got the rebound. Nice board by Anna White on the back side. There we go. Pichel fights for a good rebound. Good job, it. Brooke, on that offensive glass. Offensive rebound by Brooke Pichel and puts it back. And count it. Brooke with a nice first half here. Boy, looking in, inside, and there is nothing there. It's nothing but blue shirts. Good hands by good Lenz. Job. Minneapolis is doing a good job of uh, when the ball swings to the to, to the wing, stepping around. Mallory there nice, steps in front. Nice job by Mal to keep from fouling. Good grief. Look, sure looked like she was fouled. We've got some good looks in close. Nice step out by Brooke to pick Reams up till Lindsay got back over for the help. That ball was hit by Minneapolis and it still went in. Can't start walking until you dribble. That's almost a walk. Coach, coach saved with a timeout. She's tall enough. She needs to hold her ground right there and strong with the ball. Turn and look. There's nothing there, but no sense forcing it. 
Minneapolis looking pretty good here. Trailing 11-12 here in the second quarter. It should be, we should probably be ahead with a couple of those easy ones we missed. But Had a few bunnies that just wouldn't fall. But the ladies are attacking the glass and getting some offensive yep. rebounds. Definitely. So four and a half minutes to play in the first half. Minneapolis trails 12-11. They'll inbounds on the side. It looked to me like she was fouled again, and there's still no call. Finally, Finally they get got a Cryer foul. for the foul. Mal working that backside. A nice dump foul. down by Alyssa George. This is a foul, or Mallard doesn't know where the backboard is. One of the two. Check that. That foul wasn't on Cryer. It was on Abel. Puts Mallory at the line to shoot two. First one is up and off back, back of the rim. Well, those will start uh, dropping sooner or later. They're getting real good looks. Second free throw is short, and Bloyd with the ball. Alyssa George and Megan Lyman good back in, and there's a good position by Megan. Excellent rebounding position by Megan. resets the offense. Well, what is he calling? Is he saying a block? And I don't understand that. I think he looked up the scoreboard and seen that we were trailing in the team fouls and he decided to even it up. I don't know what it was. I didn't see it. He called a block on Lenz. Her first foul, Minneapolis third team foul. Turnovers are killers, and there's one for Bloyd. Nice hand by Alyssa. Tips that ball, Lindsay picks it off. Good grief, I hope he finally calls it. Foul on Bloyd. It's probably a travel on Alyssa. She got shoved halfway out of bounds. She'll shoot too. Alyssa's first free throw attempt is in. That ties the score at 12. Second attempt, front of the rim, rolls in. Crawls in. Minneapolis, 13-12, with the lead. Good grief. Girls grab the ball. Went through two Lady Blues. Bloyd gets, picks it off, and they're back on their offense set. Cox sets up for a three, and it's nothing but net. They're going to have to put a hand in Courtney's face, too, because she can shoot the three. Nobody to throw the ball to in the middle. Would you please put Mallory Goeth back in? Al comes to the ball real well in the middle. Like and Mal's got a headache. Yeah, they banged heads earlier in the first period. Her, there was a battle for a rebound. Megan too late to get there. She tries to go down to defend it. Uh, luckily for Minneapolis, the official called it on the floor, but it was on the during the shot. She should be there shooting two, or shooting one, because she made the basket. Good work by Brooke Pichel to go in there and steal that ball. She worked around number 44 for Bloyd. Got the pickoff on the in inbounds pass. Nice give and go. Back door, Stephanie Alderson on a nice pass from Lindsey Perry and 
bucket right down the lane. Nice little eight footer. Ties the score at 15. She's gonna. Megan steps in front of that pass. Yes. Nice Cox job tried by to Megan. get it down low to the, in the, on the baseline. There's a travel and by Brooke. Minute 48 to go on the half, and scores tied 15 all. Bloyd's bringing the ball down. Reams for Bloyd has it. Kicks it into the paint. They're going to put it on the floor in the middle. Uh, I believe the possession quick arrow, enough to get to it. Possession arrow will stay with Bloyd. We tie her up. That was a walk that wasn't called. Brooke Pischel with another strong defensive rebound. Rips that ball away. Excellent job on that back side, and we have got to have that over there. That gives Bloyd an easy putback. <laughs> Turnover by Minneapolis gives Bloyd a layup. Lindsey fouls to keep Bloyd from the layup, her second foul. And Bloyd will shoot two. First one's off foul the rim. That's that second, yeah, that's Lindsay's second foul. Misses both of them and Bloyd slips in for the rebound. It's going to stay with White. Good hustle play by number 32 for Bloyd. No block out on the free throw, and Bloyd slips in for the rebound. <laughs> 58 seconds left here in the first half. We're all tied up, 15. Ball should be blue, and the official gets that call right, and we're going to go the other way. 43.3 seconds, Minneapolis inbounds, Bloyd's full court pressure. There's Mallory in the middle, and we can't get the ball to her. And there. Good job by Lady Lions to get that ball across half court before we get a. There's another. There we go. That's the way you do that when they're overplaying. Hit him on that back door, and Alyssa George goes clear of the rack for an easy bucket. 15 seconds left here in the first half. We need to stay out on that three-point line right here and not let him have it. Minneapolis takes a two-point lead right there at the end. Bloyd's going to throw one up from the corner. Good job. Nothing but air. And we've got one second left, she and travels. she's going to get called for the walk. But with .3 seconds, uh, there's no time for a shot unless this rule's different than it is anywhere else. It has to be a tip if it's going to count. The girls have got to practice stopping dribbling and coming to a stop at the same time because we, we have a lot of turnovers. There's a good job by Megan. Good hustle by Megan to run out the clock there. Minneapolis ahead 17-15 here in Beloit, first half. Pretty decent first half. It could have been even better than that. Uh, we had six or seven turnovers down there that really hurt us, but we did have some good looks inside that didn't drop. So I look for some of those to drop in the second half and we'll That's be all right. right. You know, the turnovers that we've had, the, the missed bunnies down low that we've had, Minneapolis very easily be up by 15 points, 10, 15 points. We keep Lloyd from uh, their pressure. It doesn't seem to be bothering us too much. So we can eliminate our turnovers here in the second half. The uh, Lady Lions should be in pretty good shape. We'll be back with the second half here shortly. Minneapolis with the inbound. Bloyd's still in that man-to-man -man defense. 
Steph drives the lane, just comes off the back of the rim. Lindsay's there for the rebound. She sticks it down to Mallory. Mallory off the glass. Mallory's just got to be feeling like there's a lid on that basket. That should have been a kick. Going to be a jump ball. Alternate possession turns it over to Bloyd. Or just a bad pass. Pass did go off foot. Minneapolis still in her 2-3 zone. That one snuck in there. We didn't have backside help. A little slow getting over. Well, we got to make a pass, girls. We can't stand there. They'll have us 10 seconds. There we go. Oh, we missed two of them over there. Megan and Mallory both have missed an easy shot over there. Two footer Must off the be glass. A lid off on the uh, goal. Somebody's got to come help, and Mallory does. 17 17. We reset. Yeah, Megan's got that open three. <laughs> they come out and guard Steph just a little bit closer. Megan can't handle the pass, bad pass by Alyssa and Bloyd. We can't rebound either. It's an easy bucket for Bloyd, 19-17. Now go, thank you. Minneapolis with another turnover. Reach in foul by Mallory. Minneapolis first team foul, second half. Boyd with that, a 19-17 lead. They called that foul on Stephanie. I was almost certain it was on Mallory. I was certain it was. Nice closeout by Alyssa George to take that rebound. We clear the timeline. Steph out front. Lynn's looking for a cutter. It's going to say we need to look for that same shot. It'll start dropping, I'm sure. Oh, they're going to call a double foul. We've been getting pushed around down there the last two times down the floor. That official wasted that one. That was a terrible call by that official. Lands inbounds to Megan. Ground to Alyssa, back to Steph, and we reset. Catlin's holding Alyssa as she comes through the lane. Take advantage of that screen, Lindsay, and should have went to the rack. Mallory or Megan had the defense sealed off. There's a travel by Steph that's not called. It's a block. Continuation, that'd be good. That was a good call by that ref. Blocking foul on Bloyd as Mallory drove to the basket. There we go. 
Good luck by Lenz and Mallory on the backside with an easy shot and it goes in. Nice bucket by Mal, 19-19. Steph right out there on the Cox girl and she can't pull the trigger. That's how you take care of that. Three hands in there to knock that one away and it's that entry pass by Bloyd is not going anywhere. Turnover Bloyd and Minneapolis. That's a walk. It's got to be a little more quicker to pull the trigger. How about a walk? You ain't gonna get that call from him. He ain't made a right one all night long. Sorry about that, Dale. I had to yell. I had to shut that mic off when I do that yelling, shouldn't I? <laughs> Scores tied 19 all. Nobody there to rebound for Minneapolis as the ball ricochets off the rim on that three point attempt by Bloyd. Bloyd's been in the lane for seven or eight seconds Ray! there. Never did never Ray! did clear the lane. <laughs> nice hands by front. Minneapolis to knock that one away. Alyssa with the ball on the wing. Nice pick by Megan. And a good shot by Alyssa George, but nobody to rebound. She got fouled. No call. Alyssa with a nice good job, job stepping in front of that. And Brooke Pachel rips that loose ball away. Floyd went about to get a hold of that one, and we gain possession. Good pick here. We'll get Alyssa free again, and it does. A nice shot. Nobody to rebound for Minneapolis, and here comes Bloyd again. It's one and out for Minneapolis. Yeah. Catlin's going to get called for another foul. She didn't think she did it, and why should she? They haven't called her all night. Lloyd over the back. Good possession, position by Brooke Bischel. So just under two minutes to go in the third quarter and scores tied 19 all. Minneapolis will inbound, inbounds the ball going full court. Lloyd's gonna put on full court pressure here. 3-2 trap. We clear the timeline with no problem. And Alessa George. How is that not a foul? Bloyd had Alyssa across the arm and she couldn't hardly even shoot and they still didn't call the foul. Good grief. Pass the ball. Alyssa's notorious for that. That's traveling. Three ball by Bloyd, puts them up by three. 22-19. I just gotta keep my mouth shut, Mike, because <laughs> I just cannot stand. Alyssa George has been fouled time and time again going to the basket. Nice look by Steph to find the open. Diana White, we clear the timeline. Lynn sets the offense. Steph with the ball. Looks for a cutter. Swings the ball back around. Anna White over to Lynn's. There's Steph, but they close it off quick. Back out front to Brooke. Got Brooke Mitchell for a push and foul. And that's another one. 
Offensive foul on Minneapolis. His fishing, officiating job in this third quarter is just absolutely pathetic. Minneapolis cannot get, can't get a call. Thirty seconds left here in the third period, and Beloy. Looks like they're content to hold for the last shot. Point goal by Bloyd does not go at the buzzer, and Minneapolis trailing 22 19. And one quarter left in game. Well, we know the Cox girl can hit the three point goal, so we'll have to stay out on her out on that line. Just keep working our offense, and we'll get those easy looks. We'll get back back into this thing. It's a one possession game, but it's three points. So sometimes that's tough to overcome. But uh, with the looks we've been getting, we ought to get three or four good looks here in the next, next four, uh, fourth quarter. We can limit our turnovers. Yeah. Lions are just going to have to keep attacking like they have been. Uh, sooner or later, we're going to get a couple of those calls back our way that we can't, couldn't have gotten the third quarter. So Minneapolis will inbound to start the fourth quarter, trailing 22 to 19. Reams gets a hand in there, knocks it out of bounds. Minneapolis inbounds, Lindsay on the side. Yes. And that's what we're going to have to start doing more of. Nice entry pass to Mallory Go. Turnaround, six footer drops, and she's fouled. And that gets us right back where we want to be in this ball game. Chance to tie it up. Nice move by Mal, and the foul, foul shot drops, and we're knotted at 22. Token pressure by Lenz as Bloyd brings the ball up. And she's right out on her. She's getting drawn in a little bit too far to get back over to cover. Guard's doing a good job when they swing that ball, getting back out. That was a walk, not called. Cox puts up one that's off the rim, rebound by Pichel. Good job by Brooke on the backside defensive rebound. Minneapolis with the ball. Lenz looking for a cutter. Who? And Put Brooke. It back up, Brooke. Put it back up. Misses it twice in a row. And then they call her for the foul. <laughs> Evidently, you cannot be fouled when you shoot because this guy has not called one all night. Well, we should have made the first one. That side of the rim has not been kind to Minneapolis. That's, That's going to be, be a backcourt court violation. Lady Lions will have it at the half court line. Well, 
Good work by Mal inside and Anna White with some good minutes. Lenz gets the ball into Brooke. Around to Alyssa. And well, they what do call you know? him. Blood foul. Cross the arm. Gosh. It's unusual for that ref to call that because he hasn't all night. Had Stephanie across the arm. We're going to have to get it. And Lenz throws it away. I just soon need it to throw it away. There wasn't anybody to throw it to. And Brooke hustled after that ball. Nice save by her. Minneapolis trails 24-22 with just over six minutes to go in the game. Another foul by Bloyd. One more. Well, that will put us in the one and one right now. Minneapolis will shoot the one and one. Should be seventh. I looked up and there were six fouls. And Was that a charge? No, it wasn't a charge. Couldn't have been a charge. We had the ball. Throw it. Gosh. I'm out. Lions have got to do something to get get to Lindsay when she's inbounding that ball. They can't just stand back there next to their defender and hope the defender's not looking at it. They got to break to the ball and get open. Well, the boys will see these same refs in the boys game and I won't be looking forward to that I guarantee you it could easily get out of hand the way they don't call it <laughs> that's right and you can see early earlier there's been some temperatures or temperatures flaring with the girls it'll only be elevated when the boys hit the floor now we've got to be ready to go when he hands the ball now we're just now Okay, that'll work. That was a foul. She blocked it, yes, but she also got the hand. Well, we have her trapped and let it out. Minneapolis does not want to win this ball game, I can tell you that. Not a good job playing defense tonight. That's a, definitely a blocking foul. She's out of position, and he does call it. And we'll shoot one and one. That's her fourth foul, Vic. That they've called. So Liss is going to get a one-on-one -on -one opportunity here. Minneapolis trails by four. First free throws up and in. It's in. Nice shot by Alyssa to put it back to a one-possession ball game. Second throws on the way, and it's good. Nothing but net on both those free throws by Alyssa George. And... Lady Lions are down 26-24. The defense got to stiffen up now and get turnover. And that nice should have been five on 20. By Alyssa George as she tears that ball away. Bloyd almost over the back. Ball out front to Lenz. She's looking for a cutter. There ain't nobody there. Steph pops out to grab it. Nice look, in close. Mallory. Lens with a good loose ball. Good hand, good hand. We've got numbers, but. Stephanie. How's he getting timeout when they didn't even have possession of the ball? 
the ball was still loose on the floor. I don't know, Mike. I just don't know what to say. Minneapolis going to have to just suck it up and start playing some tough basketball. They're getting out hustled, and right now a couple of bad passes, turnovers are just killing us, and Beloit's got the lead, 26-24, with four minutes and 30 seconds left here in the game. It's going to be close. I just... I hope we can get a couple stops and a couple buckets to get this thing turned around pretty quick if we don't. And if we don't, it'll be a long evening for the girls. But officiating has lacked a little bit to be uh, desired for me anyway. The last four and a half minutes of the game, Beloit with the possession. They're gonna run clock because they've got the lead and their coach knows. Foul on Stephanie Alderson reaching in and that's her fourth. I hate to I hate to sound like I keep complaining about the officiating, but you watch the uh, bottom official and tell me if he ever puts a three count on the lane. Number 44 just lives inside the lane, and he does not have a three count on that. And we cannot stop that inside drop down pass, and we've got numbers and a bad pass. No foul. Turnover by Minneapolis. I wouldn't waste any more time, Coach. I'd get them out in them right now. Match them up. You're down four with three minutes to go. They're just going to stand out there and hold the ball, too. Minneapolis comes out into the man-to-man, -man and Lloyd calls timeout. Coach getting Brooke Pichel in there with a little more quickness and aggressiveness on defense to try to get a turnover here. Brooke will come in for Megan. <clears throat> Alyssa George, Stephanie, Alderson, Lindsay, Perry, Mallory, and Brooke. And we lock up man to man. That's a jump ball. Good job by that Mallory. That ball will go to Minneapolis on the alternate possession, I think. No, it stays with Bloy. Next one will. And we're shooting free throws. There, now we got a turnover. Minneapolis with the ball. Three minutes left in the game. Need to take advantage of that. And we need that. a basket. Number 44 for Bloyt called for the shove. That'll put Mallory on the line. We're shooting a one on one. Yeah, you know, I, Mallory went flying across yeah. the floor. <laughs> I'm glad they finally saw that because I've been kind of hard it all not night. to see that nine foot of legs go flying around on the floor. Here's a chance to put some points on with the clock stopped. First one's up and good. 28 26. 28 25. 
Second one's up and good. Nice job by Minneapolis to get a turnover. And back to that and zone defense. I think they should stick with the man. A little more pressure, and I think Bloyd would have troubles. We've got to come out. It's not like we're tied. I wish just one person would come out and guard the ball. Coach won't let him. Just because we're close doesn't mean that we have a chance to win. We're behind. We need the ball, so. It's Bloyd will be content just swinging the ball on the perimeter. I think just two people pressuring the ball could uh, cause a turnover here. Coach says stay back. where I think a little gimmick defense, uh, two pressuring and three in a zone underneath is a, a good defense. Now they step out man with a minute 40 to go. Five! Got us with five earlier and Minneapolis with a foul. We had one to give. That'll put them in the No, we didn't have one to give. Now we def definitely need to block out here. Big free throw for the Bloyd girl. Nothing but net. Makes it a three-point lead. Still one possession game. Minneapolis would shoot the three. She missed. Minneapolis with the ball. We're down three. We need a good look here for a two-pointer. Something that's sure. Bloyd surely will not foul. Mallory with a board inside, big board by Mallory. Just what we needed, a big rebound by Mallory. And that girl is gone. That's five on That's her. five on number 20. She's gonna take a seat. Mallory's fouled, count the bucket, and she has a chance to tie it up with 57 seconds left here in the game. One shot for Mal with a chance to tie this game at 29. Count it. Oh, it's in and out. Alyssa with oh a my. silly, silly foul. Oh, my. Can't let them shoot free throws. Well, that's their, that's their post player. Hopefully they can't shoot. She had no chance, no chance of getting that. Lloyd shooting a one and one here, makes the first one. Fifty six seconds left here in the game. Minneapolis down two, three. When you foul, it gives the other team a chance to put points on the board, and you don't have a chance to get a turnover to eliminate that chance. Minneapolis uh, with an over the back on the free throw. Not a timely foul in that place right there. No, Minneapolis Alyssa should just play the good defense and look for a turnover. Alyssa should have realized that she had no chance of getting that rebound. Most referees, but here late in the game, he they have seemed to call a little better game here in the last two or three minutes. Most referees will call that over the back. 
the problem I have with that, though, Mike, is the referees call a game a certain way and then change midway or, you know, towards the end of the ball game. The girls get accustomed to how they're calling it, so they play that way, and then next thing you know, they're calling a different ball game. Floyd, man-to-man -man all over the floor. Minneapolis sets the offense. Steph looking for a cutter. Got to do something, Steph. Can't hold it forever. That was at least a seven or eight count. We're down under 30 seconds. Coach calls timeout. Minneapolis trails by three. Minneapolis with some motion, but no look at the basket, and Coach Darrow calls a timeout. 29 seconds left, and we're down three. It's either a three ball or a two possession game, and we're running out of time. Kind of nice to see cheerleaders on the floor from Minneapolis. Yeah, last couple games we've had some on the sidelines. Minneapolis will inbounds the ball. Three-quarter court. Five-second line. Stephanie will throw it in. Steph inbounds to Alyssa George, a jumper, and it's off the back of the rim. Bloy with the ball and Lenz with a foul. 20 seconds left. Bloy will shoot. One and one. Not in the double bonus yet, but really doesn't matter with 20 seconds left. Minneapolis pretty well sunk here with Floyd shooting free throws. Not a good game by Minneapolis, I don't think. Uh, they played better games during the year. Lots of turnovers. To their credit, uh, the refs were not kind. 20 seconds to go in the game. Minneapolis trails by five. They need to get up a quick shot. We need a three. That won't drop for Mal. And they call a foul on Megan Livengood. Well, it's not the best outing for ladies. Uh, start the game, I anticipated us winning very easily. But the turnovers and the poor shooting and no foul, no foul. Why not? About the worst job of officiating I've seen all year. I'm thoroughly disgusted with the officiating. If I were them, I'd run off the floor too. I sure hope they don't come out the next game, but I know they will. Well, Mike, I'm going to give you a few uh, stats, and then I'm going to close out. Lindsey Perry with two points. Brooke Pichel with five. Alyssa George with eight. Stephanie Alderson with two. And Mallory Goeth led all scorers with 11. The Lady Lions lose by five at Bloyd. That'd drive a guy to the bar. Yeah, it sure could. <laughs> but we'll do this again tomorrow. Girls have uh, Hoisington in. Hoisington at home, home, and hopefully they come out ready to play. They Not a good game tonight for Lady Lions. Score 28, which is about their average, but here again, uh, Bloyd on top by five.
We'll be back with uh, the men's. Trace is here with uh, Dale for the uh, men's game. Boys will be here about 15 minutes. So have a good game, Dale.